New information tonight in a police shooting in Baltimore County. A warrant has been issued for Michael Fink. He is charged with assault. According to police, Fink was in the middle of Philadelphia Road swinging a chain. It was cutting down branches on trees. When officers told the man to sit down, he ignored them and ran toward them. Again, officers asked him to stop, but he continued, and that's when an officer shot him. Fink is in the hospital right now, expected to recover. The officer who fired his weapon is Officer First Class B. Brown. He has a little over two years in the operations unit. He is on administrative leave at this very moment. A man is dead following after leading police on a high-speed chase in Hartford County. The man was pulled off of 95 South for a traffic violation, and when police learned that he was wanted on two outstanding warrants, the officer approached the car and the driver took off. Officers then briefly followed him but stopped it as it became a little too dangerous. The driver then crashed the car in a wooded area shortly after that where he was pronounced dead. A Baltimore City Health Department employee has died from COVID-19. The employee worked in the Health Department's Bureau of School Health and had worked in the Health Department since 2006. The mayor released a statement saying, quote, Our hearts are extremely heavy today on behalf of the residents of Baltimore. I offer sincere condolences to our staff members, family, loved ones, and members of the Baltimore City Health Department. This is the first COVID-related death in the city's health department. And we're looking at mostly cloudy skies to start off your morning with temperatures that will remain in the upper 50s. So going to be a milder start with temperatures climbing into the mid 70s as we head into the afternoon, keeping those clouds around and they're, in, they're going to begin to increase as we head through the evening. Staying dry for your Saturday daytime highs warming to 78 here in the city of Baltimore, 75 in Annapolis. Seven day forecast shows that rain chances will be returning as we head towards your Sunday. Unfortunately, they're going to stick around through Tuesday, all due to the remnants of Delta. We're drying out as we head towards Wednesday and Thursday. All right, Patrick, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates all day long on stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.